sobe. Thank you for watching Goddesses. Okay. She's amazing. 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 She's am
you wrote yourself? Yes. On this That's album amazing. that I just finished, um, I wrote all of the songs. I co-wrote one of the songs with my little brother. Shout out to Truth City. Um, but the other records, yeah, I'm always open for other co-writes with great songwriters. Um, it just so happened that this project is very personal, and uh, I really love connecting with my fans on that intimate level. So. Can Wonderful. I ask you a question? Of Out of the whole album that you made, which song really just gets you and just, you put, you, I know you put in all your songs, really everything, yeah. but the one that just, wow, just makes you think and go back like, oh God. You know what? I mean, each one of them gives me a little bit of that, but there's one called Waiting that I love so much because it's a different take on being single. Oh. And so the, the that song. That was the one that I, I, I listened yeah. to. Yeah. That was the first song that I was like, oh, I hope she sings that oh. one, roll that one I'm going to have to make sure that I That was the that. one yes. that I fell in love with. Yeah. You know, I want people to realize that if you're waiting, it's not because you're not desirable. If you're awesome. waiting, it's because you've chosen to have a standard and it's you're not choice. settling for something. Yes. Exactly. Thank you. So I oh love. Oh my God, girl, that's that preacher this, in you. It's true. The <laughs> song comes to perspective. Yes. It's like if you're waiting, let's celebrate that because yeah. that means awesome. that you have such a standard that you're not just being in a relationship for the sake of being in a relationship. And I think that we should celebrate that. No, that's absolutely that is, true. That's awesome. And people say to a lot of people, why are you single? Right. Why? Tell me. Because I haven't met the right person. Yes. Now. And there are a lot of people out there that just want to be with somebody, not just because. Just to stay with somebody. Yes, yes just because they yes. don't want to be alone. That's so wrong. now that new answer is. It doesn't is, work. Yes, the it new answer is, work. why are you single? Because I'm waiting. It and that's work. a good response. Yes. There it is. It's better to be with Mr. Right than Mr. Right now. Absolutely. And everybody settled. And course. your song addresses that. It's true. And it I celebrates singleness. I know. As soon true. as I heard it, I said, that's the one I want to roll in. Yes. Oh, my gosh. I don't like to ever put a singer on the spot, but you can't even do like a lyric or just, just. Yeah, I mean, you know what? <laughs> the song starts off and it's just like, I don't know what to feel, but I know that I'm ill. That statement mm -hmm. is immediately for kings and queens, but especially my yes. queens, to hang on to that power, step, exist in that power. And mm -hmm. men, men, mostly men, don't understand why women, whether they're beautiful inside or out, they don't know why they're single. They can't imagine right. all these women that are so gorgeous, they're single. Why? Yeah. They, they don't understand. And you know. Because they haven't met the right one. And they're learning to value. And they, they all want to be the right one yes. for the wrong reason. Yes. And yeah. they're building their own empire and themselves. Like we, as women, need to understand our value. And when we know our value, other people recognize that too. Then you become attracted to what you need to be attracted to. She's a triple threat. Gorgeous, <laughs> talented, and a heart. A heart and inspiration. Okay, and maybe she's also dribble. young. Thank so you. she's got her whole life ahead of her. She's beautiful. And, and lots of out. talent. Thank so you. when did your first album come out? You know what's interesting? So uh, I had a record deal before, and I recorded an album, and I have almost 200 records in my catalog, and I wow. have never put out an album. Oh, wow. So I've put out several singles, and there's stuff you can go to Letter J on iTunes and Jay Watts. I've but seen. But this I, I've album looked. is so special because it is actually my debut album. This is awesome. the journey of me having been in New York and going you know, on tour and experiencing the highs and lows of being an artist. And that's why this album is so important for my fans. It's called Raw. Um, because it's just very raw and like honest and transparent. But mm. raw is also an acronym for ready and willing, which, awesome. you know, this is a statement that I just want people to embrace. Just being ready and willing to receive everything that that's meant wonderful. for you. That is wonderful. So you're going to be going on tour soon? Yeah, I have a couple shows wow, in awesome. uh, Japan, China, and South Korea in November. I'm so excited because I've never been to. Wow. I'll give you the address to my cousin. He's in Japan. Oh, <laughs> girl, we're yes. hanging out. Yes. I love it. Yeah, you're gonna I'm so cool excited. People. I'm so excited. No, Especially since you know I've been told I look like a Jap anime character. So. I know. You'll be rocking it there. I love that. <laughs> You're so You'll have fun. Lots of fun. <laughs> so this will be so exciting for you. So yes. maybe one day when we have a hotel party event, yeah. you'll come in and perform for us Absolutely. if you're in town. Absolutely. I would love it. I would love it. Oh my as gosh, soon as I saw crazy. your your pictures, I was like, wow. Mm -hmm. I looked at the outfits and Thank I said, well, you. who's designing these clothes? Thank you. You know what? I am, uh, I've worked with great stylists, but I style myself for <laughs> a lot of my shows. For well, most of my there is a stylist, Donardo is amazing. Jazzy, these are two stylists that I really enjoy working with in New York. Uh, but I, I have physically designed some of my outfits. That little mini dress with all the... 
Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, that was one totally. Of my I, des I designed that. I wanted something that looked like a skeleton, you know, like I wanted it to be. That was so I cute. I wanted it to feel like I was taking myself inside out. Yeah, so that's very gorgeous. Uh, yeah, it was, it was really, it's one of my favorite pieces. It's one of those things. I was telling Davi earlier that when I go shopping, if I look at something and I understand exactly what it is, I don't want it. <laughs> it needs to be complicated enough for me to figure out yeah. how am I going to wear this. Yeah, that, oh, that was an awesome outfit. You have a phone call. Yay. Hello, caller. Hey, Jay. Hey, who is this? It's Jazzy. Jazzy! You're talking about one of the stylists I love working with. Really? Jazzy is one of my favorite stylists. Wow. Hi, boo. Thank you Thank for you. calling. <laughs> Where is she you. located? He is. He's actually based out of New Jersey. Oh, nice. But he is just yeah. to the core, like at every one of my shows. Does he want to do a fashion show here one day? Oh, Jazzy. Absolutely. Yeah, Absolutely. you some business, okay. Bobo. So no. we can get in contact with you. <laughs> yes. Yes, he's amazing. Leave your so own letter J. We'll definitely get your number from her Absolutely. or your website. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. We'd Please. love to do a show with all, all size women, yes. all types. I love that. Do you also style for men? Absolutely. All right. There you go. Hey, unisex fashion We'll have show. to do a fashion show with you. Yeah, you so jazzy. Yeah, let's do that. I All love right. it. Thanks, Jay. I love you. I love you, darling. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's so wonderful. Awesome. We can do a great show yes. and have you sing at the same time. Absolutely. I That'd love be a, that. That would be a kill. I love that so we much. We can do also a yeah. big fashion show. That sounds great. I would love that. In you a know hotel. Me. I'm into yeah. that. Yes. That'd be so great. I wanted to ask a quick question. How Please. did you feel when you got the news that you were nominated? <laughs> yeah. I wanted to, how did you react? What did you do besides falling <sighs> on the floor? It was such a shock. Because the project was a compilation project mm. that normally, you know, you, I wasn't expecting it. So it was just by surprise. It huh? was you were completely like, oh my God. I was just like, wait a minute. I was like, wait, what does this mean? Because I'm looking at the ballot number right. where people can physically vote on it. But to be honest with you, I was just so grateful. I was so great. I mean, like every artist, you know, you the Grammy is like this thing, you know, this holy grail of accomplishment. Oh, and so it's just, you know, it's, I'm just, I'm really grateful for and that's important. my journey. Yeah. That is so important. And you, yeah. and you use the word journey. Absolutely. It's a gift from God. It's true. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's true. And it's ongoing, you know, you, yes. you're, you're not, I'm not exactly, I'm working towards being where I want to ultimately be, but along this journey is what prepares you for the final destination. And so every, you know, every relationship I make, every person that I inspire, every person that inspires me, I'm just really grateful that I have these experiences to put into music that I love and connect with people all over the world in so many different ways. And that is so wonderful. She is, because when I had my surgery, guess who appeared? She came to visit oh, that's with so my nice. brother. I was like, and the, and the daughter, I was like, Thank you. And I look like Mafusa. I was, <laughs> she did. My hair is all over the place. She I was like, didn't even, don't even. She's that girl smile. that's okay. like sick and she's still cute. And it's just like, this is your sick face. <laughs> so <laughs> stop. Yes. <laughs> this Whatever. is my sick face. Whatever. It was, <laughs> she does have a heart of gold. Yeah. So that's such a, uh, a unique name. Thank is that you. like your last name? or is So this my name is Jay. Jay Watts is right. my actual name. Uh, and I went by Jay Watts my entire life, even as an artist. Uh, and then after the record deal was done, I just wanted, I wanted a rebirth. I wanted to feel awesome. like I was existing in an artistic capacity exclusively. And so I didn't want it to be, I had green hair for like years and yeah, I remember. white hair and I had all these colors. I wanted it to be not about this persona. I wanted it to be just J. And so I really wanted to transform what people thought about the letter J. And I was like, it's oh, perfect. That's cool. it's, it's letter J. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then the way you spell it, it's perfect. Yes. I love yeah, it. So, it's so you. like an acronym. Letter jazz, letter exactly. jam. Exactly. Letter just be. Yes. <laughs> See, it's girl. True. It's true. <laughs> You're right. I was yes. just thinking. Just jam, really joy, good. letter now, just be. You yes. gave Joey some music. Did he? Did you give him another one or just one? Uh, uh, so he has Waiting, which is the record we were talking about. And, and, and he has that back there? Mm -hmm. I don't know if he could play it now or not, but we want to see that. Of course. Can you ro roll in the video with that? Okay. Yeah, I just need to say. Oh, okay. Well, I will be shooting a video for it. Awesome. Yes. Oh. This is going to be on the, the new album that's not out yet. It'll be out next month, November. Let me know. I don't know what to feel, but I know that I'm ill. It ain't just my sex appeal, or even that I'm real. But if you don't know the deal, let me show you the truth. I love it. I ain't settling for Wonderful. real. That's just the way I you live. Tell you. Better know that I'm a shark. All eyes on me. You ain't even gotta know it. Open your eyes and you will see that I'm proud about it. No doubt about it. I'm satisfied and I'm not.
love, love it. it. Thank you. That I was a nice that's taste. That's like my favorite. Yay. That is my favorite. And yeah. that, I gave you guys an exclusive because the mixed version didn't play. So that was actually unmixed and raw. Yeah, but it's, <laughs> and it's still, still raw. It still beautiful. sounds good. Thank you. It I does. You have that. a great gift. Thank let's, you. Let's go on that. Yeah. You said that you were singing since you were uh, young. Mm -hmm. um, Growing up. How? What would you say to somebody who wants to be a, a singer Absolutely. um what are the steps to go about it how's the vocal training because it yeah. takes training it's not just some people are born but they have to it's be true. trained it's true and it's true and i mean i was i was born able to sing but i was also classically trained like i ah. i played the violin at five i played the alto sax at 10 i started playing the piano at 12. like i loved music but when i started uh taking choral music it really elevated my voice to being five octaves yes. like I learned awesome. five five to, octaves. yeah you learn how to articulate you learn how to really just mm -hmm. the thing is people artists my fellow artists you have to keep singing you really have to mm -hmm. exercise the tool Your voice. because like anything else. it's true like you're you singing your gift doesn't go away right no. but I'm saying uh, when you're in the position to just sing at a moment's notice it only comes from such rehearsal such practice fine-tuning mm -hmm. that gift so that you understand your comfort zones exactly and then another thing you know I want to tell people is you have to position yourself for the success you want um, you know I grew up in Texas and as much as my heart loves Texas it wasn't where I needed to be in order mm -hmm. to be uncomfortable so you and moved really, to New York I at did. what age? I did Girl, I'm not finna tell you. Okay, That's it. Yeah, the age yeah, she yeah. has, the age she represented, <laughs> the age she ain't telling. But you know, I moved here after college, and when I was ready to take my career to a serious level, because exactly. you know, and that just meant for me that I needed to step outside of a comfortable place and really just say, I'm gonna go for this, and allow the journey to begin. Oh and God bless you. You you're great at it. Thank you. And I'm so, you know, thankful for you here, being here Thank for the you. first time. So you know how long I've been trying to get her here? I have no idea. All I know is that you called me and said, do you have room on the show? We have a caller. Hello, hey. caller. Hi. Hey, what's going on? Hey. That sounds like Trizzy. Yeah, it's Trizzy. It's Trizzy Trails from Brooklyn. What's up? So, so I would like to know what inspires you to keep writing great music that is such a great question you know what and thank you for calling this man has been so instrumental in my my musical career he's been a big brother to me a friend to me he was even a part-time manager to me like he was just like a really amazing loyal person um, so thank you for that question I'm inspired by life and I know that sounds like a very it sounds vague but the truth is everything needs to constantly inspire you People ask, oh, you know, like, what made you want to write that? It may not necessarily have been something that happened to me. Right, I could be listening exactly. to you, Nancy, and like, you know what? It just resonates in my heart. You know what? I want to give you the gift of understanding that I know what you're going through. And I create something that you can later listen to and be like, I remember when I overcame that. Everything in mm. life constantly inspires me. It comes from within. It does. And you know what? Just people watching, when you see people, joys and so many emotions, so many experiences, you got to just, you got to put that stuff down there. Music lives forever and it can be translated sure. in tons of languages. So you're constantly communicating with people. Music is transcending. Yes. It just keeps going yes. on and on. Yes. So I yes. try to stay, I try to stay inspired even if I'm feeling sad mm. or just, you know, down because sometimes that's just the artistic so journey. I want to write about put it. Your words Absolutely. And your feelings yes. into music. Yes. Yes. Within. Absolutely. Very good. Yeah. Everything okay. you think is a song. So write about it. Thank okay, you. well keep keep doing your thing, you know, and thank you. The world needs you. you know, I always tell you that. Oh, <laughs> he's so uh, sweet. So sweet. Thanks thank you for trails. calling in. I appreciate you. How do you right, prep you before going on to a show? You know, <laughs> advice, <laughs> advice for yes. fellow artists, singers. Yes. How do you prep? How do you yes. keep your voice? Yes. I take it seriously, okay? Because every show for me is a big deal. I don't care how large or small. So I try not to talk excessively before I perform. I stay super duper hydrated, okay? So before I'm as actually at the venue, when I'm at home or wherever, I, a hotel, 
I'm I'm wearing a robe or nothing at all because I'm gonna have to use you the restroom. You can get away with that. No, no, I'm <laughs> gonna have to use the restroom like 50 times because oh, okay. all I'm drinking is water. Water. Constantly tea. I blend chamomile and peppermint tea, mm, and I talking. only use honey. And if I buy this honey that uh, actually has a little bit of cinnamon, so cinnamon decreases inflammation. So the Which whole is idea is you want to keep your vocal cords completely lubricated, completely open, because that's the passageway for that music to be the way it needs to be, just smooth and sonically pleasant. And I. So I won't talk to people. I won't turn the air on. You're not going to find me around any AC. Mm -hmm. I want as much moisture in the room as possible. Everything is about just being hydrated and full of moisture. Okay. And so I keep that in Which my mind. Which is a mind. great tip for everyone yes, out there. Yes, definitely. It's very important. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So I want to thank Tavia. She's like, I have an artist. And I said, well, who is she? And then I listened to your music. And I said, oh, she's great. Oh, thank you. Yeah. That and means you know how, so much. How, how, how did it happen? How? It was just like... One, two, three. No, tell them. What? I don't know. You, you saw Yesterday. Her. Oh, okay. yesterday. So I flew back from, uh, Texas. from Texas oh. <laughs> yesterday and was at the bank, and I see her walk in, and I go, is that Tommy? I know. She put a picture up, and she says, she's in the back. She's yes. right there. I was like, I didn't want to yell and be like super guy. I was like, Tommy! I, was like, <laughs> I ran over there. I was like, Tommy! And she was like, hey. Hey! And she didn't even recognize me because I had like a hat on, a cap on. I'm being super incognito. I she was, my, she was fangirling me. I'm like, oh yeah, girl, thank you for your support. And I'm still actually, a fan. I'm just actually, I'm the one fangirling her. I'm like, aww. And so she's like, she's like, I want you to promote my show this week. I was like, okay, hit me with the details. And so, here I am. And I'm calling her at night. Hey. And she's like, I I'm napping. I'm like, okay, I'll call you back. <laughs> Get the rest. And I'm like on her, like, why don't I I love that. I listened to your music right away. She sang Thank it to you. me. And I was like, this is, she's really fantastic. Thank you Very so much. Very talented Jean. you are. Thank you. Yeah. That means but again, what, uh, what makes her even be on a personal experience, uh, such a great artist, is her heart. She it comes from within. Yeah, it's a heart. Thank you. And All the shows. songs that come out of you it's are true. from... It's true. I mean, you've, you've got to pull from your own inspiration. You know what I tell... So we all should write down everything yes. within. Yes. And if we can sing, yes. someone else can sing. Of course. You know what? I have a lot of friends that are actors, and they practice the whole method, you know, technique. Method acting, yes. They pull inspiration from themselves to embody something else. And it's a very similar awesome. thing to songwriting. But I want people to know... That I so I wrote my first book last year. I haven't released it because I'm going to release it when my album is awesome. Done. Oh, great! But my second book uh, is the one I'm going to release first, and it's a motivational thirty. It's like a month read, oh, and nice. it's just full of inspiration, and it's like things that you can read every day, mantras that we need to speak positivity into our own lives. And sometimes you need to just say it out loud and proclaim it. And I'm all about that. That's so exactly. good that you Let said that. Because yeah. I put a funny mantra. I will not repeat it here. Because it's so, <laughs> so stupid. I made my friend laugh. He was so upset and depressed. Yeah. I'll share it. And I said, and he was upset and he was in tears and he was not really cool with it. And then I said, okay, I have this mantra for you. Say yes. this with me. Yes. And I said, hold my hand. And he goes, okay, what? Well, I said, Coltex box, Coltex box, Coltex oh, box. Oh, damn it. <laughs> and he, that's what he did. That's what he said. He said, what? And he's a man. Ah! So he's not going to say that right he said he said right but you know what happened he, he stopped laughed. yes and he laughed and he every time he hears me say it sometimes right. the silliest mantras yes are the ones that break the ice it's and true. make you realize hey yes it's not that bad yes <laughs> it's something that ridiculous but yours i think it's much better yes, than mine <laughs> no no yours is much better because i'll think you're on <laughs> 30 <laughs> days oh it's like i love that though there's something that's silly that's life. my yeah. thing like Mm. Right. Being positive. She's right. always being positive. When it's I see powerful. her, she's on the beach, which is my favorite place to be. Yes. I live on that beach. I'm yeah. okay. Favorite. And it's the, the air I love is it. great for you. Oh, totally. Yeah. I'm in there. It's like like her high. Right. It is. <laughs> yeah. I, I go in Just there looking in like the this and then come out in Mufasa. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about moisture. I love it. <laughs> I, I love know it. the beach is great. It is. So what do you do to relax now that we're on that subject? <laughs> um... Sleep? No. <laughs> no, it's okay. Sleep, sleep is, is good. good for you. No, we have some lavender really for you. I um, I like. I do. I like. Sleep is so awesome. It's that thing that I always want to get so much of, yet I don't get to. <laughs> but you don't get enough. I sleep. like. I. I mean, I try to get enough sleep. Uh, my my. When I'm inspired. I'm very nocturnal, so I work at night, and uh -oh, I'll definitely be up till like Isn't five Isn't that all morning. artists? We work till it's like true. five o'clock, because I love to draw. It's true. And I get inspired around two or three o'clock in the morning. Right. 
And then, well, Dada, you'll have to share some of your drawings. Yes, that's <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah, I actually do Marvel comics and stuff like that, that DC stuff. I grew up on that. <laughs> and I'm always drawing these crazy things. I and know that, girl. You didn't know I was Storm? Oh, uh, hello. <laughs> yeah, you are. Even I'm, I'm the, in disguise. <laughs> Uh, right now, make a new brain. <laughs> <laughs> yes, make it rain, baby. Make it rain <laughs> that way. No, how but many, it's true. Getting off the subject for a minute, how many songs have you written? <gasps> oh wow! So, I mean, that are out there. Oh, that are out there. That are out there. Oh, that I don't know that number either. About, because I mean, well, because I've you written, just keep writing. I've written hundreds of songs. Oh, hundreds! Wow. So I've had songs that artists have recorded or that mm. they've kept. Um, inquiries from, you know, Christina Aguilera to Brandy awesome. to, you know, Chris Brown. Like this, just it's this. This is the journey of like pitching songs to artists that they keep some they record some they don't. But then I have records that I've released and I don't quite know. I haven't released a ton like out on iTunes. I'm pretty particular about what right. I put out there. But awesome. it's probably maybe I don't know. There's probably about ten records that you could definitely get. You could put your own How album together. How do we get it? How do we get it? Yeah. So you can go to iTunes. You can Google both J Watts and Letter J. But Letter J is the new hub for everything, so it's L E T T. So you're on YouTube, also? absolutely, definitely, right. and that, um, that's what I saw. Yeah, for sure. But like L E T T A J Music dot com is my website. There you'll find all the social media links. Uh, Letter J Music is on Instagram. My fan page is Letter J Music Fans. But um, you know, I want people to definitely sign up to Letter J Music because it's my personal page, and I really want to connect with them that way. Oh, that'd be fun. Yeah. Well, hopefully everybody out there will, will tune in. Absolutely. And uh, yeah. we would love to have you come back when Thank you, you and tell us all about your tour. Yeah. I'm and sure it's going to be a lot us. of fun. Yeah, yeah. Please. I love no, it. No, Daddy wants family. to go along. I love that. <laughs> you know that. I'd I be know. back up. Remember, <laughs> 15 years, back gospel up. singer. <laughs> 15 years, my kids and I, gospel yes. singing. Yeah, okay. So it runs in the family, baby. Yeah. Are you passport ready? You ready? I'll get my passport tomorrow, oh, but okay. All right. don't play with me. All but, you know, I got to take care of mama, but we got to hire I somebody know. to take care of mommy. I understand. My journey. Halloween is coming up. We usually do Halloween shows. This oh, month we didn't do a Halloween show. Nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, she did say she was Storm, and she is blasting the <laughs> atmosphere with her. That's Woo. it. <laughs> but this is a great show. We learned a lot about oils before you came on yes, with Eric. Yes, I love that. Yes. Yes, I was excited to talk to him a little earlier before the show because I am really into oils. Yes, and so he's you, still here. Yes. You can talk to him after the show. Yes. And, uh, Actually, you know what? One of the things I do like to have when I'm relaxing is I love oils. I, I, um, I warm them. Put the candle underneath ah. with essential oils and But now the oils that he has, you don't yeah. have to warm them. It's right. He says the cooling yes. humidifier. So That's amazing. Fun. Cooling, not a humidifier. Right. The cooling says it doesn't kill. So I want to thank that. everybody for watching Goddesses.